Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of my The Martian Recreation or rather Interpretation because of course this is not the real world and this is well a rocket that spins around itself before it gets into orbit. Yeah so business as usual in the Kerbal Universe and we're heading up here into the atmosphere and uh, out of the atmosphere of course into orbit and then of course towards Duna because there is no Mars in here and there is only one red planet in the Kerbal system and that is Duna yes we're going to Duna and before we go there with some Kerbals we go there with equipment and of course the most important equipment for any astronaut is getting back home so the first thing we're gonna set up there is the Ascent Vehicle. Yeah, this is going to be the Ares 3 mission. If you remember the books and the, well, the book and the film, then you may remember that the Ares 3 mission was the mission that Mark Watney was with. So we're already in orbit and we're heading towards our maneuver node that will get us out of Kerbin's sphere of influence and on our way to Duna. Okay, firing the final bit of fuel that was still left in the booster stage. We're using every bit of Delta V that we can, so we can have some reserves, of course. And yes, we got an encounter with Duna. And of course I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so you don't have to watch it all the way till we get there to the red planet. Okay, as usual I have to adjust my encounter. And yeah, now we're already at Duna. Okay, so the periaps is still a little bit high. I'm going to adjust it so I can use the atmosphere for braking. Yes, this is looking fine. And once we have performed that burn, we're on our way towards the surface. This is a very crucial part of the mission because, of course, if this vehicle fails, if the delivery is somewhat damaged or in any other way not satisfactory, then, of course, the astronauts, well, Kerbonauts in that case, or Kerbals, hmm. Not sure. Well, they don't have any way to get off of Duna. And of course, we don't want that. We want them to survive and be happy and tell a tale of wonder and science. Okay, a little bit burning here. And you may already have seen that there is that Pathfinder replica that I made. So I'm trying to set this down somewhat close to it, so I don't have to travel around the entire planet to get to Pathfinder, if the need arises. Okay, that's fine. Still got a bit of fuel left in the tank, so... I'm confident. Mission Control, of course, doing this remotely. And, well, maybe with the help of some autopilot skills. But in this case we're doing it, of course, manually, because I don't have any autopilot activated and I like to fly by hand. Okay, you can see Pathfinder up there in the target reticule. And we're moving in closer and I'm going to fire as much as I can with that booster to get on top of it. Well, almost on top of it, of course. There we go. Looking fine, we've ditched the fairing. Yes. Look at that, that is the Mars Ascent Vehicle, or in this case, the Duna Ascent Vehicle. So it's not a MAV, it's a DAV. Or whatever you want to call it. And what just happened? Spontaneous overheating. Thank God I had a quick save left somewhere. Okay. We're going to touch down, we're going to touch down, we're going to Duna. 
Well, if you're wondering why am I using the really, really big ISRU, the reason it being is that I did this with Kerbal Space Program 1.0.4, where there was not any smaller part available. So, this is kind of realistic and... What, 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 what? Yes, we're touched down, perfect. So it's kind of realistic that technology advances over time and we don't have state-of-the-art technology available yet because this is already a few years old in Kerbal time. So we're extending the radiators so we can fire up that ISRU. We're opening up the uh, drill. And we're starting our fuel conversion. So I've sent this completely empty to Duna. And I'm going to uh, get that fuel. Okay, what else can we deliver? Of course, since those astronauts, well, carbonauts, well, whatever. Since the crew wants to stay somewhere while they stay on Duna, they also need a place to live. So I decided to send them a habitat. If you have read The Martian, then you may have re remembered that it took about 15 launches or something like that to deliver everything that the Ares 3 mission needed to the surface of Mars. But in this case, I think we need a little bit less. So this is our second launch. And I've skipped ahead, we're already on Duna. So we're entering the atmosphere now, we're already in there. And we're hoping, hoping of course, that we're well landing somewhere close to the Mars Ascent Vehicle. And in order to perform that really well, uh, I, can f I have fired the big thruster. And now I've ditched the big thruster, because the habitat also has some thrusters. Yay! Okay, using the parachutes to slow down my velocity and also, of course, the thrusters. Okay, we're landing somewhat far from the ascent vehicle, but it should be okay. A little hop with the rover, nothing to worry about. Okay, so let's get down there and ouch, something exploded. So what was it? Okay, we lost the science bay. Well, not so bad, we have a few left and the game crashed. So I had to do it again and yep, this looks better because I had more time to adjust and also learned from the past experience. So this was not a bad thing that the game crashed and we're touched down. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to ditch that engine core. Goodbye. Boom. Okay. The first part of the habitat has arrived, but there will be more to follow. But that is for another episode. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.